Hey guys, Jan here and welcome back to The Present. So, so this is episode number three of the Q&A show with The Present and today we have a guest which is Fern. So hello Fern. Hi, hello Jan. No? And what we are trying to do right now is we are um, gathering different people para kumbaga makakuha po mong different experience from different people as well. Nandili na po gikan sa mga no. So before anything else, um, Fern, can you let us know or share to the audience na unsa ba yung mong ginabuhat ka ron, unsa yung background, who you are in general, para na may idea. I am in general. So hello sa mga fans ni Jan, no? And ako dahil si Fern, Fern Asiago, uh, Pabilonia. So I am 31 years old. And then currently, um, I have my own skincare products, which is F Skin. So I think most of you knows it. So money siya sa mong likod. And we are opening in five days time, I think, for our Hokkaido milk tea shops. So we were featured in KMJS John because our um, story was being captured. I think because of the yung success story na mga OFWs. So that's it. So I have a one one kid and one husband. Uh, one kid, of course. Tapat <laughs> isalang yung husband, right? Uh-oh. So na mention po ni mo na gikan ka o sa kung bakana ako experience as being an OFW. Yes. So na pede ba ka share a little bit as to unsay mo ang work asa ka na work. And for how long? Para nami idea po. Okay, so I used to work in Singapore for um, almost five years, and then um, I used to work there as account executive in a bank, which is um, HSBC Bank. So actually, it deals more on sales. So mo gud ako ang pinaka goal is to hit the target. Kaya ako medyo nakatuon o business, it's because of what I've experienced there. Kay hitting the, the, we're dealing with figures, numbers, so uh, offering credit cards, loans, and mga fund transfer. So inana siya mo dagan. Mm, so six years, Singapore as a account executive sa HSBC. Yes. Now HSBC is like one of the big banks diba sa world. Diba? Mm-hmm. So, Hong Kong, Shanghai. Bank- Banking Corporation. Banking Corporation. Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, so, six years ka nag-last. Before, before that, like, nagdahon or like, did you even dream to be working there in uh-huh. Singapore or abroad? It's not really my dream. Okay. Because actually, the only purpose of going there was, dili nami okay sa kung ba nakaroon, which is Oyab that time. Mm-hmm. So, and I decided to follow him. Because I think that's the right time now. Na, na naman ko sa 24, 25. So, mora to actually ang nag-push. Gusto ko mo go abroad para maseta lang ang mga issue kay basa mato siya. Mano to siya ang story. Oh. So, that's why nag to ko. Then, fortunately, God opened doors for me na maka-work yun dito as a Singapore. And, fortunately, natagaan ko chance nga sa bank pag yun. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's nice. Pag-abot po sa, ano, pag-abot po sa... Dere kita mong good sa Pinoy na culture ba? Filipinos usually think na in order for you makasolve kasi mo financial problems dere sa Pilipinas ang solution kay mag abroad. So a lot of people are commenting and messaging and in fact even sa random conversations it's one of the things that people are seeking for in terms of solution. So since ikaw gika na kasa Singapore for six years and you have been in the Philippines tapos karon nga na sa Pilipinas. Is it really true na kinahanglan ba jud mag abroad ang isa ka tao or isa ka Pinoy for them to be okay financially? Tinuod ba? Layo man gud kayo ang term na okay financially no kay up until today mao nang wrong mindset sa mga tao because if you don't know how to handle your money well matanggong yu ka dito for long years, de ba? So for me, maybe it's a change change of lifestyle. Nga oy ninggaan, you can afford this, you can afford that. But in terms of financial, um, sa tawagan na kana gini freedom, I depende ragyod sa tao nga mo handle sa kwarta. So um, depende siya sa tao nga mo gunit. Though it's a big um, help for us, kay kami nga na, nagunita na mo tarong ang money, nagkatapult yu siya sa mga to the next level. So, di, di, depende gud sa mindset, I think. So, katong nice good na to na if if um, single ka, then that's the right time for you to go abroad. A lot of people are asking me na, okay ba mo antog abroad? If you're single, if you think you are bold and you are strong and you can face the 
you know, tinuod yun na ang racism, ang bullies, di yun lalim. You can go through depression yun. So, grasya lang yun sa ginoon na mo na mo saludod yun ko sa mga OFWs. Pag dili ni mo kaya, ayun na lang yun pangandoy. And it's not mo na wrong mindset sa mga tao because they think na pag abroad na ka, dato na ka, the fact na if According sa mga surveys, baka si Gibi, akong tanag forums, I forgot the, the specific figures, but the ganjong mga OFW nga broke ning uli. Kay napay uban nga, kay ka na laging pag mga friends, mo gastos, mo kuan, maka, makautang pa sila, o money, o ban mag-negative pa. But, I mean, most of the people ngayon na ng iban, ang uba, pag uli po diri, nagtrabaho lang gihapon, like, I mean, not to, ano ha, pero nag-work lang gihapon. So, depende yun siya kung unsa ni mo pag-handle sa kwarta. Di ba, kanay lang mga ko, sige man yung kagrid og books na it's not how much you earn, but how much you save. So, mo na siya. So, karon po guys, since this is a Q&A show, uh, nahulog ani is nagkwa mix three questions from the present community. And so, thank you so much, no? Uh, for for giving us the questions as well. Since ang ato ang guest karon is nasa sa best nana siya business, which is kaning duha kana mm -hmm. and kani. And then number two is napud siya experience working as an OFW, tapos account ex executives sa HSBC or basta OFW in general. The point is um, na siya a lot of experiences that she can share, diba? And a lot of you also are OFWs na naamoy mga money na na save. Tapos gusto niyo mong kabalo on sa nindot na investment, samtang nagtrabaho mo dito, and this is the best time to do it, or this is the best time to answer it with our guest na si Fern. Okay, so let's go to the first question. Ang mga guapo git investan is real estates, properties. Kena jung mga mga butang at dili mag depreciate. So instead of uh, spending your money to ano kanang mga gadgets or travels, good thing yun nga mag-invest ka real estate. But um, I want to break that mentality of the people nga ay for kit real estate you can guarantee nga once you go back is naadan kay kwarta because this is just based on my experience ha. I have a lot of OFW friends nga nag-invest og condo and then after a while nahurot Tungod kay na mali sila mahalon kay nga kondo, wala na pud sila na daplin na money for their savings. Depende sa situation. So ang naitabo, um, she, she needs the money, then she wants to sell the property kay na, nakuratan siya nga bayaran pa day ang parking area and ang mga so tawag ani kaning mga association fees. Association fees and kaning maintenance. So na shock siya because you have to know those mga details because na mag nga what they're trying to say is ingon ani da yun, mag na siya sa location, sa imong adtuan, sa imong location, sa imong properties, kay um, ako ang personal mis mistake na mo daggan kay mga, mga properties, jud kami mag-asawa, but karon naglisunig benta sa uban because um, ang location and um, depende gyud siya, so you really have to study ang area, dili kay porket gi-offer sa imo or what you It seems trend karon mo go lang ka because dali ra man makadungo nga trend pero pag uli ni mo that time trend pa ba siya di ba so working pa ba siya sa sa market basic that time saturated kay tanan na nagparenta na pud tanan then so you have to to think of it na gwapo ba imong location and then ang imong budget ba nga mabilin is enough ba siya nga para ma, ma makasustain sa mga needs ni mo sa renovation and everything. So, mo na kung masuggest. That's nice. Actually, like, tama po doon, like, ang kasagara, yeah, when it comes to condos, which is one of the things na OFWs are investing, mm -hmm. ang ilaham mong thinking is that katong equity, which is kanang mga down payment after 5 years or 3 years or 2 years, depende sa unsa sa value sa condo. After, ana, wala na kay bay wala kay bayaran. Mm -hmm. Which is na po katong mga parking, tapos mga fees and all. So and maintenance, of course. And besides, besides residential, na po'y mga lain na mga real estate like pede sa commercial, pede po sa industrial, na po'y agricultural. So kaya based nato sa condo nga experience. Yeah, sa condo na experience. So the good thing about real estate also is that daghan siya benefit na siya mo appreciate ang imuhang imuhang value, no? Mao tong na mention po ni Fer na. Dili lang mo palit kag isa butang as much as possible dili siya magdepreciate mm -hmm. which is real estate almost like most of the times going to go up exactly. as well. Oh. Diba? All right. 
So that's a that's a very so Queenie. Hopefully, na answer ni Fern ang imong question, no? So let's proceed to the second question. So ang iyang iyang dilemma is that na si kwarta karon gamiton ba nako siya para magtukod ug balay mm-hmm. or business first unsa man nimo okay. so the best question uh, uh, the best answer to that is it depends on your priority now like with our situation wala dayon mi nagpalit og house katong na feature sa mong vlog which is uh, subscribe dai mo no sa mong financial vlogs na feature na mo house tour karon pa ko nag vlog but Later na namo siya gipalit and gitukuran. It's because the first thing that we did is to invest good sa negosyo. If you think na magdugay ka dira ah, sa abroad, then go for the house. Kay ang house, daghan gud kay siya pangayuon jud. Taud-taon mas ma- makuratan ka suga, tanan-tanan, ma- makahilak ka like kani am- even kani amo ang dire mo ra kada lihok gyud. Abi ni mug inana siya kagamay but mahinayak ka baka na gining magkadako na nga wa inani di ay so if you think na magstay pa kag longer dira ah, then build the house and dili ni mo siya kaayo uh, if need kayo ni mo siya for example for your immediate family or nagminyo ka for your husband or sa imong family ba nga mahilan ni mo gipalayas then go for building the house but kung gusto ni mo nga mas mubo lang ang imuhang life span dira sa abroad i suggest go it go for the business kasi um ang business man good basta lang basta lang matutukan og tarong and giistadihan jud nimo ang imo ang gisudlan it will give you a profit okay. for example um, example ko no um 300,000 na kay budget sa 300,000 nimo makapatukod kag balay inguna na siya Diba, basic pa lang nakaayo, diba? O let's say, 1 million na lang. Let's go for 1 million. Kaya murag ang 300, murag kuan pa lang na siya ba? <laughs> murag halublox pa lang na. Let's say, for 1 million. Then, nakay 1 million. Then, nagpatukod kag balay. So, ano na na siya? Decent na na siya, no? Then, mayo nga na kay Ang tanong, for example, what if ang imong house nga na-build is kind of high maintenance? Like, for example, ang mga lights and everything. So, umuuli ka unsa imong ipang sustain sa pangbayad sa mga needs anang balaya right but if inegosyo nimo for example o nagbutang ka og 1 million or not all the money nga ibutang pud nimo sa negosyo mag mag certain lang kag budget nga tanaw nimo sa imong ang negosyo then igmuuli ka katong imuhang na nas, nasugdan mga anak to siya og mga anak so makahinahina ka og kuan og kanang kuha ato nga money para ipantukod nimo og house in the future so depende gid sa imong priority gihapon yeah if ko ako pud sa apo na side i would really say the answer is business well tama po to na it depends sa imong priority let's mm-hmm. say for example 50 years old na ka tapos you just want that katong balay is your going to be your rest house pag uman mo trabaho dito mm-hmm. tapos pauli nimo diri na kay kapuy-an ina na wala ka magbayad og arkila then Yes, uh, depende sa priority. So if you're young and then you want na income generating, tinood mang good guys, ang house mang good. Hindi mang good siya naghahatag ng income for you. Like, it's all expense. Like you have your moto suga, tubig, tapos napi mga, mga mga daot, di ba? So ah, uh, ka relate ka diyan, no? Yeah, kay <laughs> ani ang balay mang good, tinood lang ang balay is kabalo naman ta ani is that Kita manggud ang reason nganong nganong kaya na to masustain to ang balay because it's coming from our income mm-hmm. right and the house is not providing income that's exactly. and tapos ang this is a very sensitive topic mm-hmm. for Filipinos because a house is a dream that we all have exactly. diba mo na katong katong napo mi sa ka video manggud fair na katong nindot ba na investment ang balay daghan kayo na na hurt ato mm-hmm. because ang na mention ako dito is that when you have a house it's not generating income. Okay? So that means ang atong priority if you want to have a house is for us to find ways to increase our income para na atay ikabayad sa atong mga house bills and all, right? But because it's an emotional topic as we all know, then it becomes like a con- quote and quote controversial na mga things. Sensitive okay. kaayo para mm. sa ila. So yeah, kung ako wala kay ang business pag once magkaroon siya income, then you can use that income sa man sa na mention nimo to put it sa katong na balay. Mm-hmm. Diba? So because of the business naa kay balay. Dili kay dahil sa imuhang trabaho na eventually kung mangundang ka, 
magkaroon kang balay, asa na kang manggitang kwarta pang bayad ato? Exactly. Nya, abroad pag yun. So, you will never know your, ano mang good, your future sa abroad. Okay. Dili good. Anytime, you know, anytime soon, they can terminate you or you got sick, then lisod kay travel. Mga worst case nga pwede ni mo ibutang ba doon mo rag hadlok siya. Murag ka ng, di ba ka ng isharean kag insurance. Murag hadlok kay paminawon. But it's the reality. It's just that kabalo lang yung ka dapat mo dawat. Unsa yun ang kamatuuran. Katong naka sa abroad, obviously, naka-save naka kag money dito. Mm -hmm. Ang imuhang first na gibuhat is invest in invest. a business. Mm -hmm. So, mo na yung first gibuhat. Oh, okay, actually, dagan kayo ka ng ubang sa house tour na mo. Ah, gamayan sa inyong balay mo, Ana. Lami kayo nun ba? And actually, to, to be honest, lab, ako ba replyan na ako ba? Na, kanang, kanang, sorry, mura mong na-afford. Kaya actually, kung, kung, maga, kung, kung hilasay lang ang term ba, kung natigom tanang na income na mo, we could have... 5, 10 stories worth 10 to 15 million nga balay. Pero wala mi nag-go for that. Kaya we're too young pa man. Ang mong priority, ang mong health. So, ang mong health nga at least. And second thing is we want to do the things that we love to do. Sa mong young age. Mo to nagtigom mi. And pareha atong mga yuta-yuta nga napalit na mo. And some properties. Mo to yung nag-sustain sa mga. And then in the future na lang po ng kaning... So, ganun na dream house. Diba, bisag ako, gusto ko magpatuko doon mga, you know, kisabay dili gusto ko na mga swimming pool and mansion. Pero, kanang nagsubra-subra na siguro ang kwarta. Kanang galit ka na sa pera. Oo, kanang galit na. Bibilhin kita, ano, na siya ang level. Kita po na ito na yun nag-comments. Ang gamay yung sinigulay rin. Oo, nilip-replyan ako na, sorry ha, kayo mo lang d'yo na akong budget. Ang isa po ka-emotional na niya siya. Siguro ang house is a structure, a home is the feeling. Exactly. So, it's the people that you're with. Uy. So, anyway. Anyway, anyway. Just the stock. Ipakilig mga asawa. Anyway, tinood. 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 Naiuban, guys. Nagdako kay Balay. So, you would think, wow, wapu ha. Ano, surti ka ng family. But the family is not at peace with each other. They're not in good terms. Wapu lagi siya Balay. But because of it, you know, I don't know. Dili, di ay sila okay. Diba? Murag, everything is just a facade. But behind those doors, di ay, di ba? Murag, dagan ay kay issue. So, what's the point of having that big yeah. house. And sometimes, when you have a house, and, ah, uh, kabi, nagdugay ta din yung topic, no? Uh -huh. Una mong kay balay, tapos mahulog na, let's say, na kay four bedroom, pero duha lang mong kabuo. Nanong, you have a master's bedroom, tapos na kay three extra bedrooms na 95% of the time, you're not going to use it, right? So, exactly. tapos, pero, imo siyang i-maintain. That means, na kay expenses. Mm -hmm. That means, magpagawas kag kwarta, which asa gikan, which is gikan sa mong income. So, bro, So for for me, as of, especially if you're starting out, exactly. kung kung ang pera ang may ga galit sa yon, hindi ikaw ang may galit sa pera. Uh -oh. Then balik taro natin situ situation. Just just find a place if you have to rent just for you to save money. Muna kaya hindi pa ka afford ug balay. Then try it out first, ba? Eventually tapos kung nakai business, monto siya mo grow. Anyway, so yeah. Okay, <laughs> moving on. Third question. Karon, um, so this is another investment platform which is mm. stock market. Naputay real estate which is another investment platform. Tapos sa real estate, it's either daghang ways you can buy and hold tapos imong ibaling in the future because mm. isa ang value. You can also build a structure tapos imong iparent out. This is what uh, malls are doing, di ba? Mona night tenants. Mm -hmm. So sa imuha like unsa man imuhang pananaw, okay ba mag-stop? Okay ba mag real estate? Tapos mangutang sa pag-ibig unsa man? Mm. Dibi ako maayo na ng stocks. Ako po, dili po kumayo. So, and I have a friend. Siguro kung ano lang ka, ka nang invest ka o ka nang mga nag-aano gyud, sa tawag, tawag ka lang, sa forex ba? I don't Blue know. Chip. I don't know, but I have a friend. I'm so sorry, <laughs> but I will not mention. He was one of the top earners sa Amua before and he was really like er earning millions sa Amua ang commission, but nabagsak yun siya sa stock market because he did it he did it on his own so if pero nag-study siya ha nag-study siya and he really enrolled to the university but um, nag-study siya sa kuang affirm talo ako ganyan-ganyan so depende kung ang imuang saligan I, I believe ang mga insurance na asa mga stock market thing but if you are good on it then proceed if you think you can make it successful 
Depende, I, I think the three works. It just depends on how you're gonna handle the business. At the end of the day, whatever business ideas that you have, baligya kag maruya, baligya kag ka ng, even ka ng uban, nga na maligya lang sugod ng mga orange juice before. Karo, na big time, modena mga fresh ko na mga, mga brands, they started at home. So, regardless of whatever business ideas, even vlogging, even whatever it is, ang point niya is ang commitment ni mo to make it successful. Regardless of what business platform you want to proceed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ang isa po na kailangan to consider is never uh, never invest in anything anything that uh, you do not understand. understand. Uh -oh. Exactly. Uh -oh. So, maupot sa luya si mo friend, no? Mm, uh, na luya <laughs> May na lang Tagalog siya. Ang tadi ni <laughs> mm, But, He's still working there, but na ano yun? Kanang... Big crash, dude, no? Oo, oh, kay ano man yung gisod lang, dude? Kaning... Naman ko na yung mga term? Kato ya, kato yung mga lisod na level ba? Nga, sige siya, open up sa ako ang... Nga naman na, nga naman na, eh, kung nga nung imuman ang ipang invest na nan and all. So, I... And I... The good thing is, he needs to learn that experience para next time, di na niya buhat to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually... Uh, sa stock market you can either you can go uh, you can be a trader or investor Kung, trader he's a trader, uh, trader. Uh -huh. so trader mo na siya nagatan out sa fundamentals all of the time sige tanaw sa technical analysis mm -hmm. kanang chart chart mo na siya ang investor is more about thinking about what's gonna happen 5 years from now 10 years from now so even if I'm going to put let's say 10,000 pesos in one stock tapos after 10 years wala na ko delete na na ko siya tanawon ka ayo uh -oh, because uh -oh. i know na let's say coca cola kana mga big time na mga companies mm -hmm. but for the long term ang tanaw ang trader is more from the word trader kana mura siya buy and sell niya naka income da yun that's mm -hmm. it so pero it big risk pod siya yeah big risk mm -hmm. pod siya so katong na mention pod ni Fern ganiha na insurance companies mm -hmm. have that that's what they call VUL mm -hmm. no variable unit link it's a combination of insurance medical benefits and investment mm -hmm. so mura siya so speaking of which, naka mention man uh, good ta about business. Daghang mo kani siya additional niya. Mm. Daghang mo gusto pang utana, Sir John. Unsa may nindot na negosyo? Unsa may kutubag ni mo na ko? Of course, mag mag promote na lang po kasi ako ang ko and there no. Because I want to promote my product. So um mag mag storytell lang ko gamay ani no. How it started? How it started? And would you believe that I started a business with a 50,000 um, initial products but after one year I was able to have branches sa mga small branches sa mga malls and we have one office here in Davao and actually we're going uh, we're expanding uh, nationwide and mo nang reason nga nakauli akong bana dire diba so nauna man ko ko one year then sunod siya and because of that business kay naatong among mga agricultural nga business but ang agriculture we cannot tell man gid nga up and down ng prices yeah. like a mob Lubi, ng hinay jud. So, mo na nag-sustain sa amu, ah. Um, and that's why I am encouraging, er, encouraging everybody na feeling ninyo nga, uh, wala, feeling nyo di mo ka-abroad, or feeling ninyo you want to start a business nga murag asa kumukwag kapital. So, with that skin, which is mo na yung mga product, we have a 3,000 uh, worth na products lang man nga for reseller. And, um, through that, we can help you and build you and of course, we can do one-on-one -on -one mentoring. Of course, Facebook lang or calls nga para ma-stretch ninyo. Because I started last, um, I want to, to, to give a figure para po ma-inspire sila. I started with a 50,000 last August 2018. I ended up with December 2018 last year with 1 million jud na ano. True lang to sa inat-inat na ako. From tubo, wala ko gigasto, ihapak dahil sa stocks. Tubo, tubo, hapak, hapak, ana. So, anang amo ang gibuhat. And if, of course, um, ang isa mang put good sa F-Skin nga ginapush na ako, umubitang ng gawas po ko sa platform, kay same lang sa mga dyan, is really to help the people. Kay wala d'yo nagtudlo sa tua about finances ever since nga bata pata. And we, tabu ka siya paminawa. Murag, ah, paan kanina? Ang kay kwarta, dili good. Kay the, the, you know, the number one trigger of uh, divorce in America is money. Not just in America, in totality, diba? Ang kwarta yun. So, sa mga girls or sa mga women, this is the right time for you to, to start up a business. Kung na may mga small capital, we have distributors and mga stockies. And of course, if you want to do for food business as well, naami ko kayo do milk tea, and we are all open for franchise food. So, you can just uh, message our page and then um, 
makatubag niya sa inyo dito. So, Actually, milk tea, you know, is like a thing that's happening right now in in the city that we li- where we live, mm-hmm. which is Davao City. So it's it's really doing well. The education naga pop up karon, and um, is it safe to say na kani new hang Hokkaido milk tea is a result of the proceeds or profit sa kani F skin na mura siya another investment? Another, oh, yeah. Partly siya, partly. partly. Oh, okay. Um, half of it is sa muang invest then napod mi ubang mga business partners. Mm. So we, we were able to expand yun sa negosyo nga na ami. Kani po, kani another thing about business. Uh, naapoy mga na thinking mga good ang mm-hmm. mga tao is that when you have a business automatically dato ka. Exactly. Is that is that true? Is that is that wrong or what do you think? It's wrong. <laughs> I think you have tackled this right. Yeah. Oh, and iba katong song joke joke you post ganin na ko tong mga negosyante ikot ikot lang ikot ikot lang gatuyok ra gyud ang money sa negosyante why um, but honestly dako gi siya og advantage when you do the business rather than working ako makasulti gyud ko ana nga naka extra kay how many times would nga mahina ang sales mag anak ko sa kong husband if i will go for executive job today i can have this um salary na ni siya dako siya but pagka tomorrow na mo palit og one time og purchase nga murag ah okay sige negosyo gyud ay gihapon dako gyud siya help kay at actually it can it can really give you a living and it can give you time freedom sa, especially sa family if priority nimo pero dili pe, dili man gud tanang negosyante nga naa jud in anak kadako nga budget why ug ug naa man mi we are holding that budget because for expansion kay for example Pareha ka ron sa marketing side, kailangan daggan pa pud kaayong mga nagsunod na mga gastusanan. So what they were thinking na ay hala nagtukod na po siya gingana ni Dili Dios ko ang ang kulba ta. <laughs> ang kulba sa ning kusanti abot jud abot jud buhok ba nga my god is this gonna work or not. So Dili jud lalim pero it's it's worth the ano the, the sacrifices and the risk. Di ba okay okay yeah okay Tinood lang guys, to be honest with you guys. To be honest with you, sometimes, sometimes mm-hmm. it's way more safer. It's way more safe. It's safer, it's more practical for some people to become employees exactly. rather than entrepreneurs or business people. Why? Because katong iyang na mention kay kabalo mangu ka, let's say kung empleyado mangu ka, you know, regardless of what's gonna happen, you know na sudado ka. Mas kina wale halin ang negosyo. Because empleyado ka, na kay madawat na salary mm. because that's your quote and quote right, right, di ba? Between bisag, uh, sorry to cut mm. you, bisag wala ka nagtarong og work, yeah. na adu kay madawat, mm. di ba? Oo. Di ba? Pero ang negosyo man good or negosyante, kung muginan siya gani ang 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 negosyo, congratulations. Mm. Kung dili pud wala, wala, wala nag So there's no guarantee as to how much money you're gonna get. There's no guarantee as to what will be your expenses mm-hmm. because depending kung magguba ang aircon hala kailangan nimo ilisa ng aircon that's 30,000 dayon nimo ni kalit hala. So in ana in ana na siya. So it's not it's not really true when you think na when you have a business it's going to solve all your problems no. no. It's just like a starting point. It's starting point. Diba? Uh-huh. And eventually if you do it right, the boss ay mo negosyo din. Pede another like kung bago ang sinahit abo kay Fern na na siya sa kanigosyo then because of it naga earn po siya tapos na napoy an isa anak ba? Magkaanak anak. Yeah, magkaanak anak. Grabe ko na magkaanak. Okay. <laughs> so uh, hopefully na answer na mo yung questions and since this is a Q and A show, kung ano mikto bag si yung questions and thank you so much Fern for so much. for kung bago sharing your insights and experience. Karon po datong balihon. Ikaw na po ang mag-ask of questions sila. So this is the question of the day, no? Para dere sila mag-engage sa tuwa sa comment section. Um, Tapos eventually na mag-message siguro they want to try your products and things like that. Um, what question do you want to ask the community para wala lang. Any question that you want to ask? Wala ko. O sige, ang ginaquestion. Sige, usa lang. You just think of something in your in your ako wala mapukoy script wala in terms of that. You just um, Just let it flow. Siguro um what makes you people uh, buy a certain product? Ana yeah. siguro. Oo. Uh-uh. So kung ikaw you're a consumer, ngano ka nagapay tog isa ka product, mm-hmm. no? Sa kadagag choices ron ba? Ngano ka na imong piliun? Yeah. Ngano di ba like brands karon? Kita do ganan pinaka ano kanang confused and depressed nga generation kay we have so many options. So kung ikaw di ba like 
isa ka sabon nga nung siya imong ginapalit unsa imong reason yeah. when it comes to tech apple is my choice jud so kung ako but and that's a very very good question so kung ikaw uh, what uh, unsa ang imuhang reason nga nung kana na specific product ang imuhang ginapalit so let us know in the comment section so this has been Fern and Jan thank you so much for joining us for this Q&A show